last March, MBDA has been awarded a, a contract for undisclosed lunch customer for the Albatross NG, a brand new CAM extend range based air defense system. Can you elaborate on the features and capabilities of the new weapon system? Well, let's start from the name. Albatross NG stands for new generation of Albatross because we don't, we don't forget that uh, there is uh, a long history in development of self-defense systems based on the Aspide ammunition. Uh, after many years, MBDA has decided to replace the Aspide ammunition with a new generation of interceptor, which is called CAMIR. And so we built a new system around the CAMIR and we called it Albatross NG since we consider it the new solution for an old problem, which is the, the self-defense of the ship. Albatross NG so is now the solution that we are proposing to defend all kinds of ships, but especially the small ones, the second, the second line ships, against uh, any kind of uh, current uh, air threat. And uh, this solution is, uh, has been selected and has been designed to uh, provide a very small footprint on the platform so that we can install this system on any kind of ship of the fleet, starting from the small corvettes up to the destroyers, providing the self-defense of the ship itself. Can you elaborate? on the differences uh, and commonalities uh, between the, the sea sector and the Albatross NG? Well, uh, first of all, uh, the ammunition used is different. CAMIAR is an extended range version of the CAM. Uh, I recall here CAM uh, is used inside the sea sector, whilst the uh, Albatross NG is based on CAMIAR. CAMIAR is uh, the the main difference between CAMIAR and CAM uh, is uh, the range covered by the ammunition. Thanks to a new engine, CAMIAR can reach uh, a higher range than CAM. Inside the system, there are here and there some differences which aim to uh, fully exploit the performance of CAMIAR. But we can say that there is a certain degree of commonality between the two because uh, in MBDA we try to maximize uh, the reuse uh, of the components we have in our portfolio. So, for instance, some algorithms inside the software of the C squared are reused, or the electronics of the launcher is partially reused. This allows us to place on the market a, a product which is affordable and at the same time in line with the current requirements. Are you reusing technologies and the system development from other missile programs? MBDA has a reuse uh, as one of the main policies. So whenever it's possible to uh, reuse uh, some components of one system inside a new system after a customization of uh, the new product, for sure we will follow this approach. There are some parts which are her in a heritage of previous programs, for instance, of the so-called Legge Navale program in Italy. And uh, some other ones, uh, of course, uh, uh, are a heritage of a long uh, history of uh, our company in producing uh, a full system able to manage uh, the ammunition, starting from the detection of the threat up to the launch. So the answer is positive. There are commonalities because we have to do it. The Albatross NG has been conceived as a low footprint missile system. Can you provide us how this low footprint is uh, obtained? Yeah, well, the main uh, reason why we consider it to be a, a small footprint uh, system uh, is uh, the fact that uh, the propulsion of this CAMIAR uh, starts only once the missile is already in flight. 
during the first phase of its uh, trajectory, it is pushed up from the cell by a mechanism based on a mechanical pre, uh, push. This means that uh, there is no impact on the platform because uh, you don't have uh, flames, you don't have gas, you don't have any kind of plume. And uh, this makes uh, uh, very easy the task of the combat system integrator since there is no uh, need of protecting the launching uh, area from the uh, plume of the departing missiles. The second point is the fact that uh, each component of this system is uh, smaller, it, the weight uh, is minimized, and uh, there is no huge structure which is used to host the missiles inside. You can place the missiles wherever you find the right room for them.